Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave here from Boss Tutorials. Today I will be starting a little series about getting to know Final Cut Pro. So, of course, first you're going to have to import your clip. And notice that my Final Cut Pro is 10.0.8. And so to do this first little bit, you will need to have 10.0.7 at least. Or 10.0.8, of course, will be fine. So today... I will be working in the video effects under the stylize effects. Alright, so first click your clip and then today I'm going to be showing you the camcorder effect and the rain effect. So I'll start with the rain effect. Just drag it onto your clip and you see right away this pops up right here. This arrow that goes diagonal. And as you can see the rain is going in the direction of the arrow. So, the cool thing about this is that you can just drag it and you can change the length of the raindrops or you can, sh you can shorten them and you can change the angle. Or, what I like to do is you click these three bars in the right corner and this pops up. So right now you're in the inspection tab and you can change the amount of rain. So if you want just a little bit or a lot and then you can just reset to the number you started with. You can make it high quality which makes it look more realistic. Or you can change the thickness of the raindrops and the brightness, the color eyes, and right here as well you can change the angle. So you can just change it right here. I find it easier to do it on the screen though. Okay, so next I will be showing you the camcorder effect. So, as always, take the camcorder effect, drag it onto your clip. Also make sure you're in the inspectors tab. And then right here, this text box pops up saying REC, which you notice in the top left corner, it says right next to the red light. And also there's a little battery symbol in the top right corner. So, say you didn't want it to say REC, you can just take that away and type something else. And notice it can go all over the screen in case you need to type a lot of stuff. And also down here, right below the text box, you can adjust the size of the font. So you can make it a lot bigger or a lot smaller. So yep, that's it for part one, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for the next parts of getting to know Final Cut Pro. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later.